We've been a leader in banking for more than 100 years. You'll find us here, at home, on your phone, and everywhere you go. Renaissance Bank. Understanding you. Member FDIC. Equal housing lender. Sponsored by Renaissance Bank. Good morning and welcome to Daily Journal Newsbreak for Tuesday, March 13th. I'm your host, Chris Kiefer, and we're going to take a look at the top news and sports stories from Northeast Mississippi. But first, let's start with the weather forecast. Today we're looking at partly cloudy skies with a high of 55 and a low of 30. It's a 10% chance of rain. Looking ahead at your three-day outlook, Wednesday, sunny, high of 55, low of 35. Thursday, sunny, high of 66 and a low of 44. And Friday, 60% chance of rain, high of 66, low of 51. Let's take a look now at today's top headlines. A coalition of civic and neighborhood leaders are preparing to launch an outreach program in response to widespread concerns in Tupelo's southwestern region over a spate of high-profile violence. Tupelo saw eight homicides in 2017. That is the highest such number in 20 years. Ward 7 Councilman Willie Jennings is working on the program with grassroots leaders from Tupelo neighborhoods Haven Acres, Southern Heights, and the Green Tea neighborhood. Green Tea is located just outside of the city limits. The group has organized and will host a six-week initiative called Chain to Change. Its goal is to equip potentially vulnerable people with tools and resources to escape economic dead ends or even criminal lifestyles. The program will begin on April 5th and continue each Thursday until May 10th. Each class will meet at 6 p.m. at the Haven Acres Boys and Girls Club. The program is free and open to all between the ages of 18 and 35. Delbert Hoseman said on Monday he might be on future election ballots, but he said he likely will not run again for his current office of Secretary of State. Hoseman was a keynote speaker during Monday's luncheon meeting of the Mississippi State University Stennis Institute of Government and Capitol Press Corps. Hoseman said he had accomplished his goals during his three terms as Secretary of State. Those included successfully enacting voter identification requirements and tightening up the policies regarding the leasing of 16th section school lands. The Republican also said he had other interests and goals in terms of state government. He indicated he might be on the ballot for another office and talked of the importance of improving at the education level of Mississippians. Published reports said Hoseman was recently overheard telling a group of elementary students visiting the Capitol that he planned to run for lieutenant governor. When asked Monday if he was interested in the Senate vacancy created by Thad Cochran's retirement, Hoseman said the governor would make that appointment. The Rotary Club of Tupelo on Monday awarded nearly $10,000 in grant money to support special projects of several community organizations. Tupelo's Rotary Club is part of a larger district that covers North Mississippi and Shelby County, Tennessee. Club members send money throughout the year along with their dues. That allows the Rotary District to award grants through lo the local clubs. The Lee County Library Summer Reading Program was awarded $2,900 and Girl Scouts Heart of the South was awarded $2,000 to start a new troop at the Boys and Girls Club. The Boys and Girls Club was awarded $2,000 for its Smart Moves program. That's an educational program that promotes abstinence from substance abuse and from adolescent sexual involvement through the practice of responsible behavior. 10 for Tupelo was awarded $3,000. The third year program is a community-wide cleanup day and special project of the Tupelo Rotary Club. And in sports, the Mississippi State women's basketball team learned its NCAA tournament placement on Monday night. The Bulldogs will be the top seed in the Kansas City Regional. They will host first and second round games this weekend. MSU will take on 16th seed Nichols on Saturday at 5 p.m. in Humphrey Coliseum. That game will air on ESPN2. The other game will feature 8th seed Syracuse and 9th seed Oklahoma State at 2.30 on Saturday. The winners will play on Monday. Looking down the bracket, the other top seeds in MSU's regional are second seed Texas, third seed UCLA, and fourth seed NC State. Joining Mississippi State as number one seeds are UConn, Notre Dame, and Louisville. The Bulldogs are 32-1 on the year and will be eager to get back on the court after suffering their only loss in their most recent game. That came March 4th against South Carolina in the finals of the SEC tournament. The Bulldogs won the SEC regular season title. Last season, MSU reached the Final Four for the first time in program history. They upset perennial favorite UConn in the national semifinals before falling to South Carolina in the championship game.
That does it for Newsbreak on this Tuesday. Don't forget that this show is just one of the many online offerings courtesy of the Daily Journal to get you news off the page and on the go. Check out the Capital View webcast each week with Bobby Harrison discussing the latest in state politics. Look for a new episode this afternoon in the video gallery at thejournal.com or on our Facebook page. Any story discussed on Newsbreak can be found in your Daily Journal or online at thejournal.com where you can also catch a new episode of Newsbreak each weekday morning. Thanks for joining us. I'm Chris Kiefer. Have a great Tuesday.